One feature that comes into play that you may need to be aware of, especially when it comes into an environment where you're in a migration type of scenario where you're trying to migrate from one deployment option to another, potentially, is the option of bridging. So bridging basically is the concept of taking traffic from the distributed port group. Like for example, I created a bridge or a port group called VDS Bridge Test, and then I associated uh, LVM5's NIC to that network. And if LVM5 and LVM3 and 4 needed to communicate with each other, LVM3 and 4 are currently sitting on a logical switch. They are sitting on LS4, DLR, connection 2, and connection, or they're both on connection 2. And we have them on two different ESXi hosts, LVM5 is sitting on host 2. So if I had a scenario where I needed to LVM5 to be on the same subnet as LVM3 and LVM4, and I needed them to communicate, but LVM5 is sitting in a distributed port group, I have the ability of bridging the communication between the two endpoints. So the way that I would do this, let me go ahead and launch the web console here real quick. Let me go ahead and log in to the virtual machine. And I'm going to click up here on the network tab, edit connections, click on this guy, edit, and then underneath the IPv4 settings, I will put him in the same subnet as the other guys. Manual, and then I'll say add. And then we'll put in here 172.29.2.15 slash 24 to 172.29.2.1. And then I'm also gonna put in here quad eight as my DNS server. Go ahead and click on save and close, and we should get a network connection. There we go. So I'm going to right click on here and go to open terminal. And as you probably, <laughs> excuse me, probably um, guess that I won't be able to ping my default gateway. Right, not being able to ping my default gateway, not being able to ping um, LVM3 or be able to ping LVM4. pretty self-explanatory stuff. So to fix that, we're gonna go over here to our NSX edges, and on the DLR, I'm gonna select the DLR, and you'll see this bridging, it's right here. So we're gonna add a bridge. So we're gonna add in here, and we need to select the, the connectivity that we have. So I'm gonna call this, ch changes to the bridge configuration will take only effect after the being published. So I'm gonna come in here and put this bridge test. The logical switch that we're going to select from is going to be CON2. Close that out real quick. I'm going to click in here. Click on OK. And then over here, the, the DVPG, we're going to select. Oh, it's not here. And that's because it needs to be on here as well. So right now, if we look at this guy, the um, we need to, okay, that's a little bit weird. It's not showing up. Let me, yeah, because it's what you're supposed to tie one to the other. And LVM5 is sitting on this guy. Let me go to host four and the networking virtual switches Right now it's not, it hasn't actually been deployed to the host for whatever reason. If we look here, we can see that the bridge test has been deployed and it's actually sitting on all the hosts. So let me go and let's see why, let's do a search for bridge. It should, it should just show up right here, and it's not showing up in my connection. So let me go ahead and basically resynchronize this. So not sure why that's not showing up, but it should be. 
we should be able to come over here to the DLR and I may have to go on the edges here and on the DLR go to the configure tab interfaces and then add we'll do this real quick we'll call this um, dbpg bridge this will be an internal connection we're going to connect this to a distributed port group of bridge test click on OK and I'm not going to give it a subnet because it's just going to be a port group I'm going to click on add and is it interface it cannot connect to oh what it's basically saying is the bridge I can't have a VLAN ID of zero for this guy so what I'll do is I'll go back to the actions tab edit settings and I will give him a VLAN ID of we'll put in here 11 doesn't really well let's actually do something obnoxious let's do 1000 and so that will take care of that what I'm gonna go do is back over here and click on add and that'll get pushed hopefully by adding that in I'll be able to go straight to the bridging and we'll be able to add we'll call this bridge test the logical switch will be con2 and then the distributed port group hmm that's very weird let me go and add to the DLR I won't be able to make any changes to the DLR actually let me go back over here to the the interfaces and go ahead and yeah so it should have I'm not sure why that's not working but when I, when I tested this before and I did this a while back when you I don't remember having to go to the interfaces and associate the bridge so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just get rid of that because that shouldn't be necessary the config was pretty straightforward it was um, go to bridging add and we'll do bridge test select the logical switch I always do that click the button bar up the button and then select oh there it is that's weird okay now it's working um, I don't know what it is that I did differently on this one but now it's working um, click on OK and then I'm gonna go ahead and publish that was just weird I'm not sure exactly how that happened and so what's gonna end up happening is once that gets pushed I'll be able to come back over here to this VM and I will be able to ping 14 and now I can ping it if I go to ping 13 same thing will happen there I'll be able to ping 13 and then I'll be able to ping my default gateway and these are things that you will come in handy when you are testing connectivity so I'll be able to ping google.com as well these I should be able to let me check my firewall real quick because every once in a while this starts to act up let me just check my firewall real quick make sure that I don't have it maxed out my sessions show con count show xlate count no we should have plenty of room there let me go ahead it's clearly pulling in the address let me go ahead and ping quad 8 yeah so it may be um, not sure why that's not working I may have to do some additional configuration on that but um, at least the, the bridging piece wasn't there to necessarily get me working for routing it's to provide connectivity to devices that are on the logical switch and devices that are not on the logical switch so if you want to be able to uh, distribute a port group and the logical switch at the same time this is one way that you could accomplish that goal 
So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how bridging works in our deployment. So we're going to go and we pretty much tackled everything up to this point in terms of routing. Uh, there's a few minor things like playing around with timers and stuff like that. They're more corner case type of scenarios. Well, I'm going to go ahead and focus on switching gears into services where we're going to deploy things like DHCP. We'll take a look at NAT and stuff like that so we can see how this stuff comes into play later on down the road. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, transition into services. We're going to, that's going to be anything, any more, uh, more of the advanced configs that come into play and go from there. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out. And I'll catch all of you in the next video.